Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Dasapta. Uh, now I'm going to present our paper on behalf of my co-author, Arif Susanto. We are from Faculty of Earth Sciences and Technology, Institute Technology, Bandung. Our abstract uh, here in the 2021 Goldschmidt is is earth science only made for everyone who speaks English? We should start from the uh, bottom right. Yeah. So each country would has its own problems. So based on our uh, science here in earth science, uh, the problem is geohazards and how to tackle the, the problems and how to minimize the the casualties and also the destructions due to the cure hazards we have tsunami we have volcanic eruption we have we have uh, earthquake we have floods and so with those uh, geo hazards uh, people uh, scientists would have to help the policymakers to spread the words about this geohazard and try to educate uh, the people uh, about this uh, geohazards. And then for the efforts, we need communications, right? We need communications uh, to common people, not to fellow scientists, but communications for common people, for policymakers, and also uh, for uh, other stakeholders. And inside those communications, we need we need to use uh, the correct language, the correct media, and the correct mode of transmission of the message. Right? So, and then we found this gap right? uh, about the publishing situation and the scientific dissemination situations. Uh, we have this flow of funding, human resources, technology, and also culture, and also the way uh, people measure science from the north to the global south. In case of uh, Indonesia, we have also uh, funding from the government. Actually, most of our research funding coming from the government, but the funding is not, uh, it's not big. So the major defending would still have to be coming from the north. And after we, uh, after those scientists uh, do collaborations, research collaborations, they have this data, and then this ha they have these uh, ideas about this geohazards, how it happens, and how to tackle the problems. And then we start to think where to publish it, right? And then with the idea of prestige recognition and also the pressure of early career scientists to produce uh, high profile papers. And then uh, common scientists would, would say, um, oh, okay, how about publishing it in nature? So to publish in nature, we need to translate it, the result to English first, right? And then when it was actually got published uh, in English in technical language and technical ways in in a media like nature where uh, it's not many people access uh, nature and also the the major and general scientific articles is not accessible by by common people right uh, when I say inaccessible by common people it could be access to the journal itself and also access to the substance right because due to the technical nature of the the language the media and the mode of transmission and then this common people the one that we begin the research for right? the common people the, the people in the bottom right is still confused about the geohazard they're facing right because the the majority of the published science is in English and in 
and publish in media that they don't have any idea how to access it. So this is why we need to uh, uh, widen our scope of publishing, uh, not only in scientific journals, but also disseminate the, our result as wide as possible um, using uh, any language that necessary. It can be national language, language even uh, it could also, could also be in traditional language. That's all from us uh, today. Um, your comments and feedbacks are very much anticipated. Thank you.